good day and welcome to our video on unconventional computing with billet boss. Computing is the process whereby a series of operations are performed on a set of input to produce a set of useful results. For example, taking in numbers and performing arithmetic operations on them to solve a mathematical problem. Conventionally, computing is performed electronically on circuit boards. These circuit boards take in electronic input term as bits and using the concept of logic gates transform these bits into computational output. Logic gates are essential building blocks of Boolean logic in any computing system. It performs a logical operation on one or more inputs to produce a single binary output. Computers are usually made up of millions of these logic gates to process. In this video, instead of using computers to perform computing, we will show you how computing can be done using not circuit gates but billet balls. We will be constructing physical models with billet balls to model some of the most common logic gates, namely the N, XOR, NOT, and interaction gates, and show you how they can be combined to form the binary, half, and full adders. Furthermore, we will also construct a non-composite half adder. What is truth table? A truth table is a diagram of rows and columns showing how the truth or falsity of a proposition varies with that of its components. For all the four logic gates that we will be presenting, each we will have two inputs. Hence, there will be a 2 to the power of 2 possibilities. We will be demonstrating a truth table first for each of the logic gates followed by a live demonstration using billet balls. Let's start off with the truth table of N gate. The N gate value will only be true if and only if both input 1 and 2 are both true. For the first scenario, input 1 and input 2 is both false, hence the end result is false. For the second scenario, input 2 is true, however, input 1 is false, hence the end result is false. As long as there exists one input that is false, the end result will always be false. For scenario 3, the idea is same as scenario 2. The end result will be false. For the last scenario, input 1 and input 2 are true. Therefore, the end result will be true. The end result will be true if and only if all inputs are true. Next, for NOT gate, the end result will be true if there is no input. Otherwise, it will be false. For the first scenario, input 1 is false. Hence, the end result is true. For the second scenario, input 1 is true. Hence, the end result is false.
Next, for intervention gate, for the first scenario, both input 1 and 2 are false. Hence, input 1 and 2, input 2 and not input 1, input 1 and not input 2 will be false. For the second scenario, input 1 is false and input 2 is true. Hence, input 1 and input 2, input 1 and not input 2 will be false. Input 2 and not input 1 will be true. For the third scenario, input 1 is true and input 2 is false. Hence, input 1 and input 2, input 2 and not input 1 will be false. Input 1 and not input 2 will be true. For the last scenario, input 1 and 2 are both true. Hence, input 2 and not input 1, input 1 and not input 2 will be false. Input 1 and input 2 will be true. Next, for exclusive gates, the end result will be true when either one of the input 1 or input 2 is true but not both, otherwise it will be false. For the first scenario, input 1 and 2 are both false, the end result will be false. For scenario 2, input 2 is true, hence the end result will be true. For scenario 3, the idea is same as scenario 2. There is only one input from 1. Hence, the end result will be true. For the last scenario, as both inputs are true, the end result will be false. Moving on, we will be demonstrating how using these logic gates can be used for binary adder. Just to give a quick summary of binary coding, for normal coding, we use the space 10, but for computers, we use the space 2. In this project, we will be demonstrating how a half adder and a full adder can be used as a binary code. For half adder, there will be 4 scenarios. For the first scenario, when both input is false, the sum and carry will both be false, hence total count is 0. When only input 2 is true, the sum will be true, total count is 1. When only input 1 is true, the sum will be true. Total count is 1. For the last scenario, when both input is true, the carry will be true. Take a look at how the exclusive gate plays an important role for this scenario. Hence, the total count is true.
now we will be demonstrating a long composite half adder. The result will be the same as a composite half adder. Now, we will be demonstrating a full adder. It consists of two exclusive gates, two end gates, and one OR gate. This by gate plays an important role in the binary counting which we will be showcasing in the demonstration. For the full adder, there will be 2 to the power of 3 which is 8 possibilities. For the first scenario, when there is no inputs, nothing will happen. Total count will be equal to 0. For the second scenario, when only C is true, sum will be true, total count will be equal to 1. <laughs> For the third scenario, when only input 2 is true, sum will be true. Total count will be equal to 1. Scenario when only input 2 in and C in is true, C out will be true. Total count will be equal to 2. For the fifth scenario, when only input 1 is true, the sum will be true, the total count will be equal to 1. <laughs> For the 6th scenario, when only input 1 and n, c in is true, c out will be true, total count will be equal to 2. For the seventh scenario, when only input 1 and 2 is true, C out will be true, total count will be equal to 2. For the 8th scenario, when all inputs are true, C out and sum will be true. Total count will be equal to 3.